Energy will come to order. Without objection, the chair is authorized to declare recesses of the subcommittee at any time. Welcome to today's hearing entitled The Future of U.S. Energy Fusion Energy Research. I recognize myself for five minutes for an opening statement. Today, we will hear from a panel of experts on the status of U.S. fusion energy research and discuss what we can do as a nation to advance this critical area of discovery science. The goal of fusion research is to create a star here on Earth and control it to the point that we can convert its immense heat into electricity. Easy, right? In the center of stars like our sun, extreme temperatures, pressures, and gravitational conditions create a unique natural environment for fusion to occur. On Earth, scientists push the boundaries of experimental physics in a number of ways to duplicate these reactions with the hopes of eventually generating fusion energy as power we can use in everyday activities. The potential benefits to society from a fusion reactor are beyond calculation. The fuel is abundant and widely accessible. The carbon footprint is zero, and the radioactive waste concerns are very minimal. Despite these incentives, fusion energy science remains one of the most challenging areas of experimental physics today. <clears throat> Generally speaking, and don't worry, I'll, I will leave the detailed explanation to our panel of expert witnesses, fusion, fusion energy science is the applied study of a plasma or ionized gas and it's dependent on three main conditions, plasma temperature, density, and confinement time. During this hearing, you'll hear terms like inertial confinement and tokamak. tokamak. These are different techniques and devices used by scientists to control these three quantities in their experiments as they work successfully to generate fusion energy. The Department of Energy, DOE, supports fusion research primarily through its Fusion Energy Sciences, FES, program within the Office of Science. Domestically, it funds robust research through its national labs and partnerships with industry. At Lawrence Livermore National Lab, the National Ignition Facility, or NIF, pursues ignition in the lab by using a high-energy laser to induce inertial fusion and pro provide critical science for DOE's nuclear stockpile stewardship mission. The D3D National Fusion Facility, a DOE user facility managed by General Atomics, is the largest magnetic fusion facility in the United States. This program seeks to provide solutions to operational issues that are critical to the success of uh, tokamak-style fusion reactors like the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, ITER, project. Considered the leading research innovation initiative in fusion science, the ITER project is a major international collaboration to design, to build, and to operate a first-of-a-kind research facility to achieve and maintain a successful fusion reaction in the lab. Though located in France, ITER is also a U.S. research project. Over 80% of total U.S. awards and obligations to ITER are carried out in the United States. As of December 2017, the U.S. ITER organization has awarded more than $975 million in research and engineering funding to approximately 600 United States laboratories, companies, and universities. The DOE's fiscal year 2019 budget request for ITER is $75 million, well below the required commitment level to keep the project on track. If enacted, this may result in damaging delays to the ITER project and sends the wrong message to the international fusion community about America's commitment to its international agreements and our leadership in science. When determining the next steps for the domestic U.S. fusion energy program, we must consider the importance of access to the ITER reactor for American researchers and America's standing and credibility as a global scientific collaborator. 
If the U.S. is going to lead the world in cutting-edge science, and we hope it does, we cannot take our commitments to our international partners lightly. I want to thank our accomplished panel of witnesses for their testimonies today, and I look forward to a productive discussion about this exciting area of research. I now recognize the ranking member, the gentleman from California, for her opening statement. Uh, thank you very much.